Hello and welcome back everybody to the Food Build Factory where today, for the first time ever, we are going to take a look at something other than Fallout 76 and that is going to be the Outer Worlds. Um, with this here video I want to try something a little bit new just to do a bit of a different content here. Um, yeah, uh, something I wanted to do for quite a while now actually and that is a Let's Play series. And, well, uh, I decided to go for the Outer Worlds series. I really hope you're going to enjoy this. Um, to be honest, I never really done something like this, as you can probably imagine. So, I'm not quite sure yet uh, how comfortable I'm going to be with all this Let's Play series stuff and so on. But I think we could have quite a little bit of fun here. And, yeah, for those of you who don't know, the Outer Worlds is basically a futuristic RPG made by Obsidian, uh, who made, um, those guys made uh, Fallout New Vegas, but I'm pretty sure every single one of you should be aware of the fact, and the game is out for, well, quite over a year now at this point, and back when the game came out, I was really uh, looking forward to it, um, I was really hyped, initially I was a little bit disappointed uh, when I played the game, I, so just so you know, um, I played through the game, I think, twice uh, so far. The first time I took a little bit more time to do so, but even then I was not really doing every little side quest available and so on. And then I just did uh, one more playthrough just to get familiar with some other weapons and so on. But on that situation I just um, yeah rushed through the game rather quickly. and. Um, yeah, I left the game being a little bit disappointed, but uh, recently I just wanted to give it another try. And, well, what we're going to start with here primarily is, yeah, we have to decide on a build, as you can probably imagine in an RPG. And, yeah, to be honest, I haven't really made up my mind about it, but I think we're going to do something like a gunslinger. So, yeah... Uh, melee weapon attack speed, ranged weapon reload speed, I guess weapon reload speed, handguns, dodge, that should all be rather good for us. And another thing I want to do is tactical time dilation. Now, um, I'm not quite sure uh, if I can remember what tactical time dilation, uh, what stat this lies in. I'm pretty sure intelligence does help us with, as it states here, critical hits, which we will definitely want to do here then perception can't hurt either, um, as I can see there, the affected skills are handguns, and well, that's a nice thing to have, and well, charm, I'm not really going to rely on companions all that much, uh, I don't know, uh, it's definitely, there, there are definitely some cool companions in the game, but I don't really regard them to be too high, and yeah. I'm probably going to mess up the build terribly, by the way. Uh, I am not at all familiar with uh, what the meta is in this game or anything. Um, the only thing I can remember is that I really enjoyed tactical time dilation. And yeah, handguns is something I didn't really look into all that much. And well, critical hit bonus and well, weak spot damage. Let's go for a little bit of a min-max situation here. Uh, very low strength for a gunslinger should not be uh, too bad of a decision. Then we do have high uh, very high dexterity, very high intelligence and very high perception. And we're absolutely not charming and I'm not sure if, if there's a term for low temperament. But yeah, um, we're not good at lying, sneaking, medical engineering and determination. I think we can live with that. So let's just... Uh, go ahead here and look at our skills. So, um, well, I guess ranged is a bit of an obvious one here. And then in terms of defense, that's probably not going to be a bad decision because we're mostly going to go alone and if we're going to take uh, companions with us, they are not going to be the biggest help. <sighs> Dialogue would not have been something I would not have enjoyed, but um, seems like we already messed up here, which isn't really a surprise, so yeah, we're just going to brute force our way through the whole game. And by the way, um, while this is a bit of a stupid decision, because this game actually is very much made, so you can do a whole lot with dialogue and so on, I have a feeling that a lot of the um, playthroughs I have watched or seen or uh, 
heard people talk about, were heavily focused on that. So um, being that the game is out for quite a year, uh, quite over a year, uh, a year now, uh, it's probably not a bad decision to do something that we haven't seen so often here, so at least this is going to be a little bit fresh in that department. Um, stealth, we are reasonably well equipped with, even though not perfectly. And I think, yeah, as, as a secondary um, skill here, we are very intelligent, so tech should be a nice skill. can also help us very well, uh, as far as I remember. And yeah, I think that's what we're going for. So ultimately we went for tech and ranged. We're going to be kind of an asshole scientist and so on. Uh, aptitude is something I haven't really paid too much attention uh, for here. Um, just looking through it. I can remember that, yeah, it does not really do a whole lot to us. So maybe we will find something. Um, but yeah, to be honest, the... Uh, Buffs or debuffs here seem rather minor. Uh, one to science. I think science assist, uh, scientist assistant seems rather good. Okay, I think that's something we can go with. And now to appearance. This is something I was rather disappointed with um, for the simple reason that, yeah, um, just hitting the randomizer here a few times, you can see that you can do a whole lot here. But for some reason, the character creator was, for me at least, very hard to get behind. Uh, because if you're looking at the randomizer, it seems like you can do, as I said, a whole lot here. But somehow I always had a terrible time going for something that I had in mind. Like, usually when I do something like this, I want to do a guy that looks like this, or a girl that looks like this. But I just fail miserably all the time. And yeah. The randomizer here is absolutely hideous. Now, this guy here looks rather cool, I guess. This one, not so. And sadly, yeah, you can't go back, so you have to decide on one of these guys. You obviously can... Oh, nosebleed, I didn't even know that that was a thing. So, yeah, you, you, can't, you can obviously change hair and so on uh, once you choose your randomized guy, but yeah. I don't want to have something too ugly, but I feel like that's probably not going to be a thing here. We have to maybe live with someone who's ugly. Um, yeah, I'm not sure <laughs> how you guys feel, but uh, yeah, we had an orc and we had some elf so far. So yeah, r rather interesting stuff. Um, maybe this guy is someone who we can do something with. Um, our skin tone, I'm honestly rather fine with all of that. Uh, in terms of eye color, I think there, can, there are some cool things that can be done. Um, yeah, let, let's go for pink eyes. Our brows seem a bit... Can, can we change the eyebrows entirely? They seem rather pointy. But doesn't look like it, or does it? Yeah, I have a horrible time. Ah, here, okay, here we do have the eyebrow style. Eyebrow, eyebrow, eyebrow. We have a nice monobrow here, but... I think, think, yeah, we want to go for something that doesn't really look charming. This here does look absolutely not charming, so we're going with that. Uh, in terms of hairstyle, I mean, Let's keep in mind that 29 is already rather okay, but I think we can find something funnier, or I don't even know if I want to have something funny. This is basically the uh, space playboy here. I rather like it, but it looks too charming for us. We want to really look like a, like a smug asshole. Hmm. Yeah. You can definitely go for stupid, that would probably be the easiest build you can do here in terms of optics, but... Ooh, this looks lo rather assholey. <sighs> I can't really decide, to be honest. We have quite some options. Okay, this this looks pretty much douchebag. Uh, I think we're going for that. And sorry, by the way, if any one of you has this hairstyle. Uh, but I guess you don't. I, I hope you don't. Uh, the chance is rather low, co uh, 
considering that we only have uh, 30, no, sorry, 80 uh, followers here. Um, yeah, we, I, I want to keep this rather quick, by the way. But yeah, oh, we're at the beard here. Um, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure, like, yeah, in the first, uh, in the first part of this year series, we're not going to do a whole lot anyway. Um, yeah, this this looks good. And lastly, we're going for a hair color. Um, let's go for, well, pink would probably be appropriate, uh, looking at our eyes here. But I'm not sure if pink is an option. Also, oh, okay, that's just the facial hair. Ah, okay, we do have separate hair colors. I always find it a bit odd that they chose this uh, completely black background here. Um, maybe I'm missing something, but I always found it terribly hard to uh, yeah, see certain aspects of the character creator. And, well... Features, makeup, yeah, uh, that's something I wanted to change, definitely. Is this really makeup? I feel like that's just a loose term they throw in here to, well, do anything but makeup. Uh, like, this is not makeup. Since we mentioned the nosebleed earlier, let's go for it. Sure. Ooh, dirty, that's good. Uh, in terms of scars... I mean, obviously, uh, you should always put a lot of scars on your character to make him very cool, but I don't want to overdo it. Um, pretty classical one here over the eyebrow, which is always a nice touch. But I guess we do this here, and let's call it a day. And in terms of age... Um, well, let's just go somewhere here think that's rather fine and yeah in terms of appearance I guess we're done and uh, for a name let's what should we do food Bob well square pants would be too much on the nose right uh, food Bob uh, factory man that seems like an appropriate name or also very sensical decision factory man yeah, we are now, what did I do? Okay, that's too long. Uh, well, Factory is our last name. Done. Fuck it. Um, just a little overview, but to be honest, I don't want to look at it too much. Uh, just because, yeah, if I do so, I usually find some things that uh, really bug me. And uh, yeah, let's get over with this. I'm sure we, we did very nicely here, and um, sorry, by the way, if you played more Outer Worlds than me and know that this is a terrible decision. Um, yeah, I'm sure we will uh, basically make up for all the mistakes we did here in future episodes. <clears throat> so, um, sorry, by the way, I'm just going to talk a little bit every now and then, I think at least uh, in the first entry. I, I, I want to show it. Uh, because the cutscenes are rather well done, in my opinion, in this game. But, yeah, I guess you all have seen it. So, basically what's happening here is we can see this scientist guy here. And, yeah. He has a little bit of a, of a, a race with the board, I think. And, yeah, there, there's multiple cutscenes here. One thing I really wanted to talk about is why I come up with this uh, game nowadays. Um, well, first and foremost, uh, the best reason is that, yeah, nowadays all the uh, uh, DLCs are out. And to be honest, everything I heard about the DLCs was rather good. I also watched a few uh, Let's Play series here and there. Um, never watched a complete playthrough or anything, but yeah, all I heard was rather nice. And back to a topic I touched up on earlier. Uh, I was a bit disappointed uh, when I first played the game, but retroactively looking at the game, I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was mostly because I was just expecting too much, and or expecting something very different. And to be honest now, really looking at the game, it's 
really a small little masterpiece in my opinion. It's very well done. You can clearly see that the guys uh, who developed it put a lot of passion in it. It was really a passion project and the attention to detail is very nice and to a large part stuff that I would initially complain about um, were basically my fault. I didn't really take the time with uh, side quests and so on really looking into things and everything and on this occasion I really want to do that. Now I can't really promise that I'm going to uh, play through every single quest line and if there's something that's just uh, calling out blatantly boring to me uh, I'm not going to bother with it probably but um, yeah we're going to explore a good part of the uh, of the different maps and I really want to see to yeah, at least do the main side quests if that makes sense. Now another little bit of a disappointment that I had with the game was something that yeah I felt like no matter how I decided um, basically as a little uh, overall uh, information here you can either side with going for the board which is the big bad uh, companies or you can go the freelance away and help uh, Jack, uh, Phineas Wells here uh, who's basically some kind of a rebel and yeah those are basically the two paths you can choose from and uh, what I found a bit odd is that no matter how you decide you can basically never really feel like you're part of one of the factions in game. There are factions but you can I mean you can join them but it never really feels like it. Uh, it's just yeah it's, it's yet again one of the problems I had made up for myself by expecting something like a Elder Scrolls or a Fallout game and yeah that's just something we're not going to do and on the other side um, what I wanted to mention is I don't really have a plan for this playthrough either now I'm not going to make it a hardcore role-playing uh, run or anything uh, we're just going to see where we go as we are rather uncharming I think there's a lot of times where we won't have a lot of options and that could be rather interesting. Uh, in both situations when I played the game I was either going for high speech or on the other situation I was um, trying to yeah, really utilize uh, companions and so on, their buffs and uh, other stuff in order to get uh, to a high preservation uh, skill or anything. So yeah, I never really tried to play this game in this style that I'm going for here. Now, just as it's always a part of the game, um, yeah, we're going to do everything we can here. Um, sneaking is circle button, which is rather unusual for me. And well, last thing I wanted to mention um, just before we're getting in is um, first time ever I'm going to play this game on hard. Uh, I know people who like the game a lot swear on uh, the survival difficulty, uh, which just seems a little bit too harsh for me, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I'm just not too familiar with the game, and after all, I want to make this enjoyable to watch. So, yeah, watching me just dying all the time will probably not uh, be the most interesting bit. And um, let's be real here, I'm probably going to struggle quite a bit, even with the hard difficulty. Um, that's also a reason why I went for the gunslinger because uh, we have our now we now have our first decision here by the way um, now try the rest basis choice yeah yeah we know you guy um, this is basically a dumb fuck to be honest he he's basically a character that's there to present to you the harsh world we're living in where everyone is just doing promotion for their uh, respective company and yeah we can heal this guy it doesn't do anything for us it doesn't even take away one of the healing items I, I think but um, yeah we could ask him what happened and basically he got trapped here in this cave because uh, some of the marauders that are called these are basically space raiders um, yeah uh, were killing his friends and now he's trapped in here and he's hiding and well spacers what yeah he's part of the spacers choice family which is the best uh, provisioner in the whole galaxy I guess but yeah let's just help this guy uh, we are we might be an asshole but uh, we take 15 experience points 
doesn't like us accepting outside help. Oh. I want to just get over with this here, so spacers, what? We're all part of the spacers' choice family here. Not that I deserve to be. Yeah, you definitely don't deserve uh, Pelham. You're a disgrace to uh, spacers' choice. Okay, now he's te telling us all that stuff. Either way, so... Yeah, you, you're going to shoot the canisters, but uh, how about you just give me your gun? You're hiding in a cave and you're blocked, you're uh, as good as that. Yeah, that's... Might be an asshole answer, but... He doesn't really look too competent. Quite as modest, huh? Okay, do we persuade him? I mean, all of these options are basically rather asshole -ish. Let's just lie to him. You better take my gun, then. Yeah, yeah, we better take your gun, Pelham. It's definitely the best decision. Ooh, a saber, too. Well, we're not going to use the saber, so you can keep that. Definitely nailed it, bro. Okay, yeah. It's enough, I guess. Um, so we're already rather decently equipped here. Um, being a character specialized in handguns, we're actually quite high in handguns, actually. So, a lot of actually, by the way. Um, yeah, we're, we should be rather fine with dealing with the first few marauders here. Not that in any situation. Okay. Um, possibly have to work... Uh, a little bit on my controller sensitivity um, next time I'm going to make a break here but okay tactical time violation is basically uh, space vats so you can activate it and it's yeah space vats would be a bit wrong it's bullet time that's what it is um, we know this from quite a few other games wasn't there always like just one dude here I think that's the first time. No, 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 no. What? Where? What the fuck? Huh? Okay, guys. I have no clue what's going on here. This is a terrible start for a video. There he is. Where was this guy? Was he hiding up there somewhere? This will be prob this yeah, this is painful to watch, I'm pretty sure. I'm sorry guys. But on the other side, you know, maybe it was entertaining, I don't know. Uh, telescoping stuff we're never going to use, but we're going to either scrap that down or sell it. So yeah, that's always the good part of playing an RPG when in the first few minutes you can Okay, we are terrible at medicine. That's just something I didn't really take into account. Ooh, that's that could be a problem in the future. Oh, you're still alive. But that encounter went rather well, I guess. Wapali! What? Okay, we're burning through Adrena time and ammo. Much faster than I thought. But yeah, we're still good on Adrena time. Um, this stuff is very plentiful, so you can definitely uh, be rather um, liberal when it comes to its use. And uh, fuck it, yeah, I'm not going to loot every single bit here. Uh, another thing I always uh, forget is that yeah, fall damage is rather harsh in this game. And here we have our uh, second talk. Here we're going to talk to Lieutenant Maria Mercer. Sorry. By the way, um, just because I talked so much during the introduction, uh, what happened here is Jackie Wells freed us from a uh, cryopod and now we're going uh, to help him, or he at least hopes that, we're not sure yet. 
And yeah, his plan was that he wanted to bomb us down uh, to, uh, I would say Earth, but it's not Earth, it's this place here. And the guy who should have been responsible to carry us from there on, uh, we basically landed on him. Um, I could have taken a look at it, but I kind of forgot. And yeah, the ship you can see in the background is basically this guy's ship, Captain Hawthorne, who is now dead. And uh, yeah, we still want to have the ship, so from now on we are Captain Hawthorne. And this uh, rather charming lady here, uh, Lieutenant Mercer, yeah, she's investigating that we are, or well, not we, but um, this ship here is parked illegally, so... I mean, we could just say it's a landing violation, but, yeah, I mean, hmm. Let's just tell her that we found her guy in a cave. Well, he is a moron, so, well, we gonna have to mention that. I'm pretty sure now in the beginning of the, of the, uh, game we can sh we should be able to pass all the speech checks this is just something that we will not going to be able to in the future but oh, oh okay we're worse than i thought um but persuasion um that works yeah we're, we're basically talking these guys into um attacking the space raiders that are down in that field so we don't have to do that alone and judging by how our first fight went uh it's probably not a bad decision so yeah Oh, yeah, we're going to file a full report, Mercer. You go first. Uh, let's just walk behind so we can get a little bit of XP in. Okay. Yeah, we, we're we're winning this fight. Okay, this was a rather unnecessary tactical time violation. And have you guys killed all of them already? That was rather fast. Uh, I'm not uh, used to having wood from stuff I haven't killed or shot. Um, that's a nice little, uh, yeah, change of pace, I gotta say. So, uh, what's going to happen, by the way, is, yeah, she obviously will see if we will enter the ship. Um, I think we do have the choice to kill her, and to be honest, I think I want to do that. Um... Okay, let's just... Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, weapon, equipment, stuff, shit. Oh, right. Um, I mean, we're absolutely... Terrible? No, no, that's a stupid decision. Yeah, we're going to fight her. Uh, yeah, you saw that, but... Too late for you guys. Maybe we can even use all their stuff. Yeah, let's just start off the game by... Okay, armor management, uh, pretty much the same here as... Ooh, yeah, that's asshole yellow. So we are now already... Ooh, level up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, we're just... Yeah, some Adreno will do. Uh, no, no need to. Okay, this is basically our board computer. She's called Ada. Now, spoiler alert, it will not. I'm shitting my pants, Ada. Poor guys, that was close. So, um, yeah, we're on the ground, so that's something we're going to point out to Ada and well she's just trying to basically get off get us off the ship but we can now convince her that yeah uh, 
Hawthorne indeed is dead, and uh, he was the captain of the ship here. She's programmed to just um, accept, um, yeah, accept orders from Captain Hawthorne, and so yeah, she basically implies that, well, now that we're telling her he's dead, we just have to basically tell her that we are Captain Hawthorne, and so she surpasses her uh, parameters, and we can just give her commands, or she can help us. Uh, long story short, I'm really sorry, by the way, if I'm sk skipping over too much of the um, dialogue and so on. That's just something I will work out on the fly. I really hope that you guys uh, will let me know in the comments if that's something I should should stick with or if I uh, should, um, yeah, keep more eyes on the content, uh, shut my mouth uh, during the time. Um, my plan roughly is at the moment that um yeah i'm going to skip a lot of content here in the in the tutorial area because i think that's just something most people are familiar with but when it comes to side quests or critical plot stuff um i will probably going to um let the conversations run smoothly talk a little bit about my decisions and so on but yeah as i said let me know in the comments uh, if yeah if you have a preference of how i should deal with things and yeah let's get out of here so we're facing our first main problem here um yeah basically we need some um power regulator mcgibly for our ship uh, in order to leave this place uh, we're not quite sure where we have to go yet by the way but yeah um this is a skill check we can actually do because we're uh, rather good in tech and tech is where engineering lies and five isn't high but we can do that so yeah we are rather smart and know that if we have a problem that our ship can't get up because we miss something it's probably not going to be on the ship uh, which is a rather smart ass comment to be honest but yeah we have to get into some plot somehow so yeah we are going to leave the ship now and yeah explore the emerald veil a little bit yep we're now officially alex hawthorne even though we're food pop factory which really is a stupid name now looking back at it but well yeah i got it thanks bye bye ada yeah i trying to stay alive this time is a good bit of advice and um, yeah, we're now going to crack this here um, locker. Uh, by the way, I never really got behind lock picking and all that stuff. And well, that that could be, by the way, a yeah. We're also pretty good in long guns, so uh, it's probably not the worst decision to, uh, at least in the beginning of the game, use uh, automatic rifles as well. But first and foremost, yeah, we have to look at our first level up. So we do have 10 points to spare here. And we could immediately go for 50 handguns and long guns, which would be nice. Um, defense is something I considered doing the beginning, during the character creator. Um, stealth is boosted by our equipment at the moment, but it's just something I will not light too much of a focus on until later i guess that probably up to the mid game uh, a pistol build will be rather viable and later on we will possibly have to uh, consider stealth in order to boost our damage but early on i really just want to go for a gunslinger uh, straightforward um tech is something i definitely want to boost along the line just to help us with upkeeping our equipment but let's be honest in the early game that's not going to be too much of a trouble um yeah we're not going to get hands on unique weapons all that soon at least not good ones and yeah i think in the beginning yeah it's probably not a bad decision to either go for defense or attacks let's let's be real here i probably want to go for defense to be honest um especially dodge will be uh rather good for us now reaching the milestone of 40 dodge means that uh our dodge recovery speed is faster so yeah that's just something i have to condition myself into using uh, a little bit uh, dodging is just something i uh, that's often not prevalent in games that i'm playing to begin with and when it is i'm yeah just not good at it and well 
block 25. Well, blocking doesn't really matter to us because we're not using melee weapons, but yeah, I think dodge can definitely be... This can definitely be useful to us, and yeah. We're just going for that now. Uh -huh. Yeah, fuck it. Okay. In terms of perks, now there are some very interesting ones, then there are some very bad ones, in my opinion, and... From all I remember, by the way, I'm sure the DLCs added some stuff, but yeah, um, there's just, in my opinion, perks that are objectively worse than others, which is always a little bit of a bad decision here, but, well, I think there's one that uh, regards to tactical time dilation. Okay, maximum tactical time dilation, and then there should be one that makes the tactical time dilation refresh faster, which... To be honest, that would probably be... What's this here? Better weapon durability. Companion crit chance. Additional ammo stock. Carry capacity. There it is. Faster tactical time dilation recharge rate. Uh, this should be rather useful to us. So yeah, we're just going to take that here. And yeah. Let's leave the ship. <coughs> yeah, Ernie, these guys that are lying dead before my ship, those are... Well, I didn't have to do anything with that, by the way. Yeah, they're all dead. Well, Ernie, it was like following the guards excellently brutally shot themselves yeah yeah i'm sure i'm shocked too I guess you're going to be shooting yourself rather soon as well, Ernie. Aggressive disposition is... no, no. Well, isn't this going to be a rather tragic case of suicide? And I, I know, by the way, how this looks, but this is not planned to be a kill-everything run. Oops, I accidentally shot here. So that does really happen. Um, yeah, this is not going to be a kill-everything run, uh, even if it looks like it. And, ooh, I always... Uh, well, this is the way you should go. This is the way I sometimes go, and I just now saw that this is the way I never went. So... Let's see. Okay. My dodge game to the right is nice. Uh, to the left could be better. And, yeah. Hello, Mr. Marauder guy. Okay. I'm probably too concerned with going for headshots. For this early in the game, headshots not do us that much of a favor so soon and yeah I should stop looting until I'm sure everyone's dead can't remember do we have something no that's not a mechanic we do have Ooh, they actually killed the primal I, I'm pretty surprised that I never been to this little camp here just in the beginning area hm. okay we do have a box with Adreno which is always nice and now we're going to search for five minutes for the guys we killed. Didn't I just shoot someone directly here? Where's where's the corpse? Hmm. I think I'm stupid again. Okay, there he is. But wasn't there more than just him? Hmm. 
Ooh, there's the other guy. Well, I'm a bit disappointed in what I got here. Didn't this guy have a sniper rifle? Talking about sniper rifle. Um, yeah, this we don't need, and this we could need. Um, yeah, taking a look at this here, uh, assault rifle, which could prove rather handy in certain situations. At least in the beginning. We're not going to... Well, maybe we are going to focus on that uh, in the near future. Okay, and this is the town of Edgewater here. So, yeah, as you can see, they have a nice little graveyard here. And, yeah, we can talk to our first inhabitant of uh, Edgewater here. I think this is the first time that Silas doesn't uh, talk to me about my Marauder gear that I immediately looted off the first corpse that I found. So that's rather nice. Um, yeah, I'm just passing through, boy. I'm not quite sure if we should tell him that my pot crashed. But on the other hand, it's the beginning area, so we can possibly not do anything wrong. And if there is a chance we can do anything wrong, we are probably uh, fucked already just because... Yeah, we killed every single person that we uh, saw so far and left their corpses right next to our ship. So that probably, that train is gone uh, already. Uh, that's a sensible question. Let's just ask him. Yeah, yeah, low low prices. Do I tell him that I'm Foodbob Factory or Alex Hawthorn? We went pretty well with lying so far, so yeah, let's just do it as long as we can do. Can't help to uh, can't hurt to ask him here. Um, yeah, we're not going to do the quest immediately. Um, basically, my plan is to just stroll around town a little bit, and yeah, get some uh, quests, and then we decide what we're doing. But his quest line is actually rather fun and a good uh, introduction to the game. So we're probably going to do that. He basically wants us to uh, collect debts from people around town. So yeah. Spoiler alert. Okay, just topping up on some... Oh, that went better. Did we get better in medicine? That can't be. Okay. Time to enter Edgewater, I guess. And guys, if I'm honest here, uh, I was just looking at my clock, and I think we're... Uh, yeah, the, the video should at the moment be around 45 minutes long. Um, yeah. I'm basically trying to keep these little episodes here between 45 and 60 minutes. Um, so, yeah. Skill points of it. Oopsie. Okay, we didn't shoot someone, and I guess it's probably a better decision to just put the gun away here. And we do have skill points. Haven't we, haven't we spent those? Oh, I think we didn't apply them. That's the problem. I thought that when we were switching to perks, uh, we apply them automatically. So that gives us the chance to go for something else, though, which we were going to do. Yeah, fuck it. We're going all in for damage for the beginning here and already are at half our damage output possible here with handguns. Basically, I'm sure there's a way to get higher, but uh, you know what I mean. Uh, 50 handguns and 50 long guns should not be a bad decision for the moment, and yeah, probably in the beginning, maybe, um, eventually, possibly a better offense than a good defense. I hope at least. Okay, fuck it, we do this, and yeah. As I just mentioned, guys, now we are in Edgewater, and I think this is a rather appropriate point to end our first little episode here. So... 
I hope you enjoyed the video so far. Um, let me know what you think about a Let's Play series. Um, I'm sure, by the way, I'm getting a bit more comfortable with the whole situation. While I'm now getting used to doing YouTube videos rather well, um, yeah, Let's Play is definitely a different decision here, um, different situation. And I think it's going rather well when we're just playing around here. Um, I do have to focus a little bit more when I'm doing conversations on what I want to do and yeah, so on. So last words for this episode, I gotta say one thing that the guys from Obsidian nailed is just the looks of this game. It really looks beautiful. Um, the whole vibes of the game are really cool. I really love them. They definitely nail it when it comes to this part and as as roughy and scratchy as this whole society is, I definitely think one thing they did surprisingly well was that they made stuff rather cozy, to be honest. I really would love to stroll around this city here, um, considering I'm not getting sick, by the way. But we're going to find out about that sooner or later, and yeah. As of late, as for now, I don't know how to speak English. Let's just say goodbye and see you in the next episode, guys.